So I'm here doing my bit for local politics and putting my cross in the box. Well, it's May the 3rd, um, it's a day for local politics. We've got uh, local elections going on, councils all over the country, people are voting. For me, it's the most important part of politics because it's, it's how things affect you on a daily level. Um, local, local politics is where you can make a big change. Right, I've come here to um, the actual counting of the votes. So I put my little cross on my bit of paper earlier, stuck it in the ballot box, um, and this is where it, it all counts, really. We're in the auditorium, and it's Thursday night, we're waiting for all the votes to come in. And uh, it's my first time being here as a candidate. I'm just a poster, a regular guy, who just wanted to do something to get involved, to do something about the environment for, for me and, and my children. I've been that concerned about the environment, and we've done all the things at home, recycling and such, but I've just started a, a year-long sponsorship campaign for Greenpeace, and I went along to talk to our Green Party candidate just about you know, any help I could get, any advice. And it was in talking to David Brooks that I really thought, yeah, the, you know, this guy, he, he's doing something every day, he's, he's, he's standing every year, and I just thought, this needs to carry on, we need, it needs to further the party, it needs to further the issues, we need more people standing. Really just talking to David and knowing how he can get involved, I thought, yeah, th this is what everyday people need to do, it's a local election, and we all talk about the issues and, oh, you know, nothing gets done, so just let's just stand up and fight for what we really believe in and try and do something about it. It's, uh, it's been a lot of fun actually, it's, it's quite exciting and seeing the votes come in and see a lot of people you, you know who perhaps you didn't realise would be involved which kind of again shows that you know the everyday guy can come down and get involved and it's, uh, it's as we speak we're just waiting for our world to come up and it's, it's, it's alright, it's fun, it's exciting and uh, it's a good laugh. If you believe that something isn't being done, then you've really got to a, come down and vote and make sure you're voting for the right guy you believe you can help your issues and what you want to see done. And if there's nobody there who, who you think offers you that, that choice, get up and stand. That's the only way we're going to get any change, really. It's, it's all right to sit down and, oh, nothing gets done, and we all have a moan, and I've been that person myself for the, all my voting life since I was 18. But there's got to come a time when you've just got to stand up and be counted and say, I believe in this, and so, you know what I mean, put your money where your mouth is and go for it and do it. If more people got involved instead of just moaning about stuff, then they would be able to change things. I'm sure it takes a while for the wheels of change to move, but if you get involved, it happens a lot quicker. The biggest change in politics happened from a small group of people um, being really tenacious and, and getting in there and doing it. Change only happens if uh, you're part of it. If you don't vote, it's assumed that you agree with the current situation. If you don't like any of the options uh, available to you, then I totally encourage people to go and spoil their ballot paper and write on it, none of the above. If enough ballot papers all over the country started coming in with none of the above written on them, then questions would have to be asked. <laughs>